Hey guys, this is Carlinda with Your Real Naturals, and in today's video, I am going to show you how I make sea moss gel for my sea moss soap. Now, in this bowl right here, I have 10 and a half ounces of sea moss. Basically, what this is is I have sea moss that has been soaking for 24 hours, and it has doubled in size. When I first started out with this, this was a five and a half ounce or a five and a quarter ounce package of sea moss that, as I let it soak, it has now became rehydrated and it's doubled in size and it's also doubled in its weight because it has water so this is 10 and a half ounces of hydrated sea moss that's in this bowl in this cup right here I have three cups of water this is the water that my sea moss had been soaking in so I'm going to use this water to make my sea moss gel of course you are going to need a blender as well as containers to store your sea moss in once you are finished so let's go ahead and let's get started now here you see I'm going to be using a stick blender because for <laughs> And all I want to do is take my stick blender and pulse it and gel it down a little bit before I add my water. Now, if you are a person that wants your gel in this really thick consistency, you don't have to add water to your sea moss. You can leave it right here, and this is just straight sea moss that you have. Now, what I'm going to do is I like to thin mine down some. So, I'm going to incorporate my water a little at a time, right? And the reason why I'm using a stick blender is because if you're watching this video, most likely you are a soaper. And in the world of soaping, you probably have this stick blender. So it's easy to show you this with a tool that you already have. So you don't have to go out and purchase anything else. Now here I'm going to just go ahead and add my water a little bit and I'm going to stir. <laughs> Sorry for the noise from the blender hitting the um, side of the bowl. But as you all can see, it's becoming more like applesauce. I'm just adding a little more of my liquid and I'm going to stir. Now, the, with your sea moss, the more you mix it, the creamier it's going to become or the smoother it's going to become. You see this? And one reason why I thin mine down, you may be wondering, well, why are you making it so thin in the beginning, Kerlinda? Because I don't put all of this in my soap at one time. And with me not putting it all in my soap at one time, I want it to have a nice gel consistency once it sets in the refrigerator. Because you can use this in the refrigerator or you can leave it in the refrigerator for up to two weeks and you'll be fine with it so I'm gonna just give this a stir and y'all see how nice and smooth this is no clumps no bumps no nothing now if you are a person who eats sea moss and you use it as a superfood then this right here is a great consistency for you to be able to add it to like applesauce and different things like that so that you would be able to um have a sea moss as an additive into your different foods all right, so let's stir this on up. Now I'm going to add the rest of my liquid. And as you can see in my liquid, there was some sea moss down in the bottom. Stir it up really, really good, y'all. Now that's about how thin I make my sea moss. And there you have it, guys. Sea moss gel. This is how I make my sea moss gel for my sea moss soap. And I'm just going to pour it back into my cup like so. And you see there, this made four cups. 
Guys, if you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel so you will be notified whenever I post a video of me making my sea moss soap. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to pour this off into my containers because this is what goes in the refrigerator. Okay? And that's how you do it, guys. And I will put a lid on it. And it's going to be a gel. I will go ahead and put my lid on it. And voila. There we go. See my gel. I hope this was helpful to somebody. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm not worried about this. Because this part right here is definitely going to be going to my soap. So you see I have a little less than a half a cup left. But I will add to that for that to go inside of my cup. But there y'all go. Sea moss gel. Isn't she lovely? Boom. Now you see why I had to do that. Because this just filled two 16 ounce containers. Alright guys. There you go. This is how I make my sea moss gel. For my sea moss soap. Thank you all so much for watching. Again if you have not already done so. Go ahead and hit the button. Like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and turn on your notification bell. So you will be notified. Whenever I post great videos on my channel. Thank you all so much for your love support. And in addition. You will always be notified. When I upload the video of me making my sea moss soap. If, I, if I've already uploaded this video. By the time you watch this video. Of me making the sea moss gel. Go ahead and click the button down in the description below. So it will take you over to that video. Alright guys, this is Curlinda with your Real Naturals. Bye!